What's up guys, it's your boy Jezreel back with another video and today we have the No Name Album. Yep guys, so you know, um, if you not have heard, if you not have heard of No Name Gypsy yet, you know, No Name Gypsy, she's a, a female artist coming out of Chicago, Illinois. I've uh, the reason that the way I've heard of her, I heard of some of her music from um, Mick Jenkins and Saba and other people around the Chicago area. And I know they all like uh, she's like very lyrical and things of that nature. Um, but the way that's like really uh, crazy about her, she was actually on Complex as the uh, top twenty best rappers of uh, out right now. Actually, and she was like number seventeen out, out there, like number seventeen out of every single body. And you can just hear in the way like her poetic type flow and the way she just like rap. She's like. She has very nice lyrics, and she's very lyrical in the way she does. She's very versatile. And um, you can see that in this album and other songs that I've heard from her. I've heard some of her songs with uh, Mick Jenkins, um, the features she's had. And I heard some of her uh, last album she had. I forgot the name of it, but I heard some songs on there also. But, yeah, she's a very lyrical type person, and she's really underrated, honestly. But um, I feel like this uh, album may kind of, you know, elevate her and uh, kind of put her up there a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, to get into it, I heard this album this morning, so I say we do a review on it. And, uh, yeah, let's get started. Uh... No name is that a uh, type of like she has a type of like I said poetic flow, but the when I first heard her, I thought that the flow was the same every single time until I got to this album I was like, Oh, she talks about different things. When I first heard her, I thought the flow was the same every single time, but I was like, she can get away with it because of her lyrics and how good her lyrics are and how like how she changes what she talks about on every single song. But um the song the first song I heard was Prayer and it just showcases uh, her singing abilities and uh, the way she can switch up her style, which I didn't notice. The way she switches her style and how it, how she makes it work, how her singing capabilities, and how versatile she really is in her music. Now I got a song called Window, and it's like a it was like a majestic, mature type flow, and you can hear that. And sounds just like it just goes along with her style. It's like a majestic type, mature type beat that just goes along with her style. With her just um just really changing it well with it. And one thing about No Name, you know, she's just like. So I put it, she's just like, you know, like I said, like we're lyr like lyricists, you know, they're really they're not as like as big as they used to be, you know. And they're not getting as much of popularity and it's kind of it's kind of sad for lyricists that are like that are just like really, really good because they're not getting as much popularity as, you know, they used to be, you know, you just hear more uh more just more catchy, more things now. So it's a little bit different going on right now. But uh, you know, one thing with no name, I feel like she has that uh she has the potential to be a star, really, because she's a female rapper who's really just, like, rapping and actually talking about real stuff. And I feel like uh, she has the potential to be a star off that because just a way, just she's very unique the way she raps. And you don't hear that. You can't tell me about who really sounds like her because she, she really doesn't sound like anybody in particular. Um, and then the best song on this album that I heard was on Room 25 was uh, Don't Forget About Me. And, you know, Don't Forget About Me, it was really just, like, just like it was, the beat was fine, the hook was fine, but just really her lyrics and just the way they just caught my attention, really just grabbed it. Was don't forget about me, and you know it just puts you in like it's like emotional type feeling type song. You may like drive back on a rain day type thing, but you know some lyrics like I know my body's made from clay. We all die someday. Tell my mama don't forget about me, and it was just like it was just um she said something else about um. What was it? It was about hold my mom stays for the whole eternity. Don't don't uh, don't. To tell my mama don't forget about me, but yeah, that's just like the whole hook to go along with it. It really just, it was so nice and just spoke like it was really just uh, it really just caught your attention. Really just like you know what I'm saying, it made you just really think, and it was it was nice. And also the next song, uh, she had another song on there with Smino and Saba, and I'm a big Smino and Saba fan. If you haven't heard of Smino and Saba, you need to check them out. Really, uh, Smino he comes from um. Smino's from St. Louis. He does a lot of things with Chicago artists. So he's a R&B type guy. And Saba. His biggest song is with uh, Angels with uh, Chance the Rapper, but I heard him with, uh, I heard Saba from um, a song with Smino, actually. But uh, Saba, he's really underrated, too. He's a great artist, great, great artist. And uh, him and Smino on that song really just go well with uh, No Name, and it really just makes it makes it great right there. And that's, um, that song right there is really, really good. Uh, it has Smino on the hook and uh, No Name and Saba with a verse. And, you know, the whole flow of it just goes totally nice. And, um, Part of Me, uh, it opens up with, like, with a great, like, uh, that's the next song. Part of Me has, like, a a great soulful type vibe like when you click play you hear just come off and like you know it's gonna be a great song for like the first 80 seconds i don't think it's no name on there it has a feature of like raven lanae and i think i i heard raven and lanae from um mick jenkins last album thc but uh it, part of me just opens up with that and it's just like it's it, that's that's like the that's what it opens up with and that's the hook for the whole thing and it really just it rides it just it's just really nice i feel like 
I feel like after listening to the whole album, I feel like No Name's really just on another level with her maturity and, like, just the way she sounds, you know? It's just, like, all put together and everything's just, like, a complete sound the way she has. It's, like, it's mastered well. Everything like that is just totally together. And um, I just feel like this album right here, she can put it out enough, which I've seen it on a lot, a lot of blogs, this album. So I feel like, you know, she's getting a little bit of attention from it. And I've heard people say, have you listened to it? Everything of that nature. So I think that um she's going to get some... um publicity from it i don't know if she has any type of like hit hit hits on here she may have she may have one or two i don't know but um yeah i feel like she's just gonna grow and get bigger and bigger i don't know how old she is but i just feel like she's gonna grow because you know i feel like a lot of these rappers in chicago came out from that but like, it's like a poetry club down there and i feel like there's been a lot of rappers who've done that and you can just tell about that in her music you hear that in her music the way she sounds and i just feel like she's gonna get uh, bigger and bigger and I feel like this opens up new avenues for her as a rapper. You know, and I feel, it was crazy to me when she was on that uh, number 18 in that top uh, Complex list. Because, you know, I didn't think she was that big to be on Complex. But I feel like now, you know, I can tell the way she raps. She's really on a different level. And I feel like uh, she's going to grow and grow her fan base and grow her popularity. And I think she's going to, she has, she's something special for real. But, uh, yes, yeah, that's it for my review of uh, No Name Route 25. Thank you all for watching. Boy, Jazz Real. Like and subscribe. Peace. <laughs> Static selector.